Ag Day Weather is brought to you by Zoetis. Even though calves don't wait for perfect weather to arrive, you can count on Zoetis to be there. Share a picture of your newest calf and you could win a calving season survival kit. Enter now at calvingseason.com. Meteorologist Andrew Whitmire joining us here taking a look at rainfall over the past seven days and it's already wet in a lot of these areas and some places make it more rain. It is. Some of these areas are already dealing with two to four inches of a rainfall and more of this is going to become saturated here on this Thursday and into Friday as we have more waves of precipitation heading towards the eastern coast of the lower 48. And as we take a look at this uh, system here, Thursday into Friday, again, it's a kind of a two day part uh, system here, and that's going to spread across to the central portions of the country all the way up towards the uh, New England coastline as we round out uh, this weekend and get on the northern side of that is the wintry side and on the southern side of that uh, we are dealing with the uh, heavier rainfall uh, with that as well. Let's take a look at our ice accumulation map here. Uh, again, we could be looking at some ice accumulations upwards of a quarter to a half inch uh, of ice uh, here and that's going to be the case here across the upper portions of the Mississippi uh, River Valley here and going forward over into Pennsylvania, Eastern Ohio. Just want to briefly retouch on this uh, where that uh, low pressure and that uh, front is going to track its way through just to the south. Uh, we could be looking at three quarters of an inch of rainfall uh, for parts of uh, Pennsylvania with that ice uh, potential. Let's go through the snowfall map here as we're going to have got that snowfall side of the system as well. We've got the ice in between the snow and the heavier pockets of rain around two to four inches across the parts of the southern Great Lakes uh, states. And meanwhile, upstate New York over towards uh, Vermont over towards uh, Maine could be looking at a half foot or more of a snowfall accumulation here as we go throughout uh, late Thursday into Friday and into early Saturday. So putting this into motion here on the future uh, radar here as we go throughout uh, this uh, Thursday, we're going to continue to see that low pressure system tracking towards the north and east. Again, on the northern side of that, we have winter impacts on the southern side of that uh, and right along that track. We've got that flooding potential here as well as a few stronger storms uh, that could form along uh, that uh, front. And eventually this system works its way uh, off along the eastern uh, seaboard here as we go throughout the uh, latter half of uh, Friday and already watching our next system, which hopefully could bring some a decent rainfall uh, for parts of the Pacific Northwest as we head on into next week. It's going to take a look at cities across the, the country here. Syracuse, New York, clouds moving in, snow overnight, high 28 degrees. And as we go to Dora, freezing rain, high 34. And going over to Yosemite Valley, California, sunny and chilly.